Hello, this is Wes Mann. I'm going to do a video about uh, vibrato today. When you're first beginning to learn music, a lot of times it's a, it's a difficult subject to really grasp is uh, understanding vibrato. Because it's something like you can read about it and then just not really get it, you know, but... Uh, Unless you're just a quick learner like that. When I was a kid, I, it took me a minute to, to figure out what the heck was going on when I was trying to learn to play a bass or guitar and how to get that string wobbling around. But uh, on the uh, harmonica, you know, there, there are several different ways to get, get uh, vibrato with using the, the hand and then using your airflow or voice and different ways of manipulating your tongue and mouth and uh, even your throat and and then using effects pedals as well and uh, board effects on your mixers and things um, well I'm gonna go over uh, all those in this video um, the the first one is gonna be with the using the hand, which is probably the most common type of vibrato you'll see. Um, and, uh, you know, you might see somebody in a cowboy movie, like uh, some old western, they'll, they'll be doing that. And, uh, even a lot of blues players, they'll, they'll, they'll cut their hands like that and uh, try to get this airtight seal. And they'll, they'll even do things where they get a more of a, a slower vibrato or almost like a like a wah 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 sound. Kind of like almost like a trumpet player who uses one of those um, you know uh, toilet plunger things on their trumpet and the wah 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 like Louis Armstrong. But yeah, that's a that's a pr pretty common way to do it, and it's pretty easy to do. I don't do it too much myself because I uh, end up going too crazy with it and end up hurting my teeth after about an hour of messing around with it. So I only do it occasionally when I want uh, to do a pretty sound. Uh, like a lot of classical players, they'll they'll use that type of vibrato to get uh, get uh, different effects. And, Yeah, you can kind of get a, a fast one, or slow. And then you have your kind of medium vibrato. Uh, if you want to try to get variations on it. The, the type I like to use the most is a, kind of a using your airflow and opera vibrato is it like uh, a lot of singers will use it or even uh, flute and woodwinds so they'll, they'll use this type of vibrato a lot where you're using your airflow to get it uh, uh, and a good way to grasp this would be to just to imitate some opera singers uh, 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 just just for fun just joke around and get that oh and get that that kind of vibrato and uh yeah that, that's my favorite kind of vibrato it's uh it's what i like to use a lot um it's probably the harder one to really really get going but once you get get it going it, it'll be uh, a little bit easier to utilize and you'll be um you'll take a lot of effort to learn how to do it and then you end up taking a lot of effort to learn how to stop doing it <laughs> but 
But yeah, that, that, that one, that's one that works best for me. Another more common one would be um, for, especially for jazz players and uh, Stevie Wonder, he, he'll use tonguing for, uh, to, to get vibrato a lot. Uh, a good way to start at doing this would do the syllable, yeah, 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 yeah. Or, uh, you know, there's other syllables you could do, but basically you're just, uh, kind of pursing your mouth and your tongue up. And it, it's, it's a lot of the way that you, you usually get bends as well, but, uh, you know, the, it's kind of like in between a bend and, and getting vibrato to get the variation in tone. And I'm not as good at uh, doing that. I'm still kind of learning myself how to get that kind of vibrato, but but it sounds really cool oh, once you can get that that kind of thing down. I've heard some people do. They just sound very uh, Stevie Wonder-ish to, to do that kind of vibrato. So yeah, it's kind of like in between the worlds of, of bending and doing vibrato. Uh, like I say, you can use the syllable wah, yeah, 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 and I'll manipulate your tongue and your mouth to kind of get that going. And uh, another one is the glottal, uh, glot, glottal, it's just using your throat and getting kind of a ha, 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 ha to get the variation it done. It's very similar, almost the same as the opera, but it's a little bit more forced where, like, uh, if you've ever seen a Beavis and Butthead movie, they're always going, ha, 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 ha. It's kind of like that, just a little bit slower. So you get a ha, 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 so. It's almost like uh, what you usually use to produce your, your note. Let's get that ha. So you're just doing it multiple times to get a get a rapid fire suggestion to get the you know wavering of notes. And then finally, you can uh, use effects. And they'll they'll um, they'll give you a, a wavering tone as well. Usually, like I like to use this phase ninety. I think it, it works well with the harp. But uh, if you if you turn it up really high, it, it definitely you can tell it kind of has a warbly, almost cartoonish like sound. But which, which might be cool for a certain occasion. But uh, I usually keep it kind of slow just to get kind of an atmospheric effect. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you turn it up, you're definitely going to hear uh, a kind of vibrato and, uh, and using vibes. And the, there are also actual literal vibrato pedals. Um, and you, you might even have that on some of your mixing boards and, uh, or a vocal effect pedal, a multi-pedal. Um, and... Uh, but yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, I'll probably demonstrate my um, my effects rig one day. I just still kind of piecing all of that together right now. But I hope you found this helpful. If you have any more questions about it, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, it, it was hard for me to get my um, vibrato at first, like I said. But uh, once you get it, it's it's it's. It's a very entertaining thing to do and very uh, nice expressive way to purvey your music. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the channel.